guys, it's Lita. So a lot of you might relate to this when people just figure that you're really social and you're like not being a hermit. Oh, she must be so social and such a people person. She must go around kissing babies and raising her hand in class to speak. What a social little butterfly. Yeah, only not. Sure, when I was like five and I was in kindergarten, I tried to be social. When I was a kid, people in the schoolyard would like freaking LARP as Pokemon during recess. Everyone would always choose the coolest Pokemon, like Pikachu, Lugia, Articuno, Charizard, Squirtle, etc, etc, Snorlax. No one ever chose Snorlax. And when it was my turn to choose, I would always choose Espeon, the coolest Pokemon ever! Espeon, woo -hoo. But no, Lita, you can't be Espeon. You're too gross and weird, so you have to be Geodude. Cool, okay, I'll just go be a little beefy rock over there on the slide, guys. Sounds fabulous. And as I grew up in elementary school, I realized that having friends was just not an achievable goal for me. So I decided to befriend the nearest tree and convinced my little young childish mind that I was an elf and that I did not require mortal company. I know that probably doesn't sound too unreasonable for someone who was in elementary school, but this stretched on into, like, high school. And then I got my first laptop. And this, I know pretty much everyone watching this can relate to. Oh, praise you, internet, for plaguing me with this sheltered, withdrawn, outcasting lifestyle. I mean, it's so bad that even if I have, like, a hella crush on someone, for example, and I'm, like, sitting by myself lurking their Facebook, which I'm totally not implying that I do, or, like, sitting in a corner fantasizing about the day that we get married in a field of kittens, which I'm also not implying that I do, and while I'm fantasizing about that, and if I get a text from the person I like, I still just get really bothered. No, person I have great interest in. I will not answer your text. I'm busy fantasizing about you. Really, though. The only friends I truly have are the friends who also enjoy wasting their lives away, sitting in a dark room eating goldfish and watching crappy movies on Netflix. So you like uh, not having a wife? Hence why I've been friends with Serena so long. So anyway guys, be sure to like this video and you can leave a comment below telling me how antisocial you are. That's a terrible request. And don't forget that my live show is every Wednesday at younow.com slash shows 5pm California time. Every Wednesday. And I know I was kind of slacking off a little bit about the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the live shows for a while, but I was just really busy in Vegas. Okay, well, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll be filming more, I promise. And pinky promise, pinkies, hold your pinkies up, you guys. Hold them up, hold them up. Okay, I wish all you guys a beautiful day, and be happy. Ow, that actually hurt. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye!